Next up, we have Lucy's Volunteer by Glenn Jeffers. Glenn, are you here? Glenn? Oh, you want to approach the stage, Glenn? Okay. Inspired by Lauren Weedman's story, wanting to be closer to her husband who has a lot of respect for hospice workers, Lauren volunteers at a hospice center but maybe isn't fully prepared for the experience. Uh-oh. Hey there. Hi, Glenn. How are you doing? Great. All right. <laughs> Do you want to tell us anything about your experience of, your, of Lauren's story or your script? Yeah, no. Um, Lauren's story is great. Um, I think it touched um, a lot about just, you know, people feeling need to get closer and the lengths that they'll do to, to get to that point. Um, and didn't really want to play with it all that much, but really kind of wanted to bump up the gallows humor because I, I love making jokes about death. Okay. Um, someday someone will explain gallows humor to me. Glenn, do you want to pick your director? Drum roll! Vin Siskali? Vin! Vin! Woo! All right! Give it up for Lucy's volunteer! Fade in, exterior hospice, palliative care facility, day, establishment. Interior hallway, Lauren, 30s, curly-haired, fidgety, sits in a waiting area near an office. She nervously plays with her phone. A volunteer coordinator, Mrs. Davies, 50s, professional, seen it all, pops her head out of the office. Lauren. Interior office. All Come of, in. All of the furniture has a second-hand quality to it. Lauren sits across from Davies, who looks at some paperwork. Looks like you completed the training. Paperwork's all set for your first day. Great. I can't wait to start. Before we get you on the floor, I'd like to ask you a few questions, get to know you a little bit better. Oh, okay. So what made you want to volunteer for hospice? I, um, I, I have a friend who lost his wife, cancer, and um, he always talks about how awesome the volunteers were, so I just thought this would be a good way to give back. Davies is skeptical, but not. Okay. <laughs> Interior hallway, later. Lauren and the coordinator approach a number of patient rooms. Lauren wears a volunteer badge on her jacket. Got your cards? Nail polish? Yeah. Good. Remember to wear your badge at all times and keep your hands clean. The last thing you want to do is spread germs around. Lauren nods. Then it hits her, a stench from the bowels of hell. Her nose scrunches and her eyes wince. These people are at the end. We're here to make them comfortable. Understand? Davies turns back to see Lauren sniffing around. Lauren? Yeah, got it. Lauren and Davies get to a room. Davies opens the door. Okay, your first patient is... Davies freezes, then slams the door closed. Down a hole. Interior Lucy's room, same. An elderly man, Walter, sits next to his wife, Lucy, who's lying in bed. A single IV drip of morphine and a vita and vital signs monitor stands... A vital signs monitor stands next to the bed. Davies entered. Lauren follows. Walter? Hi, this is Lauren. She's gonna watch Lucy for the next three hours, okay? Bless Walter your heart. Walter gets up and shakes Lauren's hand. Lauren beams. Walter follows Davies out of the room. Lauren sits down next to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm Lauren. Do you bring cards or polish? Lauren pulls out the cards, then the polish. Lucy laughs and points to the nail polish. Interior Lucy's room, minutes later. Lauren brushes nail polish onto Lucy's hand. She looks over at the ivy drip a few feet away. Lucy notices. You're not hurting me. So, you from around here? Got any brothers or sisters? I'm supposed to focus on you. I know me, and I know my husband's out playing golf. I don't know you. Well, I'm from Seattle. Uh, I'm adopted and grateful. I love my family. I love my older sisters who weren't adopted. My mom once told me that she adopted me because she didn't want to throw out my sister's clothes. You bitter about that? <laughs> Great questions, Lucy. 
All done. Lucy relaxes her hand, which turns back and slides across the blanket, dirtying the blanket. Lauren sighs and looks at Lucy, who shrugs. Interior hallway later. Lauren stands in the hallway with her phone in her hand, listening to a voicemail from Jeff, her boyfriend. Hey, babe. Uh, sorry I didn't respond to your text. Actually, uh, I'm taking Benji up to see Rachel's parents on Mother's Day. She wanted them to be in his life, you know, after I... It'd be weird uh, if you're there. Um, I'll make it up to you, all right? Call me back. Love you. Lauren sighs. She puts her phone back in her pocket and walks back into Lucy's room. Interior, Lucy's room. Lucy sleeps as a nurse, 20s male, tucks in a new blanket. He glares at Lauren as she enters. Again, sorry. They told me to... The nurse walks out, closing the door behind him. Lauren sits back down, suddenly noticing Lucy's medical bracelet. The name on it reads, Lucille Z. Kelly. Lauren pulls out her phone and types, and types, her eyes wide open on her phone. Women of the big band era. Lauren starts to sniff again. It's the stench. Her face contorts. She sniffs at Lucy and turns away in horror. Interior, hallway, same. Lauren peeks out, looking for the nurse. The door of another patient's room is open across the hall. Hello? Mr. Nurse? Hello? 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 Not, not you, sir. I, I need the nurse. Hello? 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 Lauren closes the door. The patient continues yelling. <laughs> Interior Lucy's room later. The nurse checks the sheets. Nothing. He turns to Lauren. Seriously? You don't smell that? Uh, Next time, just use the call button. He leaves. Lauren sighs and sits back down. Lucy stirs. Walter? No, it's Lauren. Do you need anything? Some water or... No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, I've got a surprise. Lauren pulls out her phone and taps the screen and sets it on a night scan. Big band music starts to play. Lucy's mouth drops. Lauren snaps her fingers to the beat. This is your band, right? <laughs> Lucy turns away crying as the music plays. Lauren freezes. Just then, a refreshed Walter enters. He immediately recognizes the music and sees Lucy in pain. It's okay, sweetie. The hell did you do? Uh, uh, is this not the right band? <laughs> Lauren is back in Davy's office, mortified. Moments later. Apparently, Lucy's first husband was the band leader and ran off with a bass player and one of the sax players. Walter said she hasn't listened to music since. There's no way I could know that. Did you talk to Walter? I think he was playing golf. This isn't working out. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What? No, no, no. Look. My boyfriend lost his wife, and I know he's still grieving, but he shuts me out every time I mention spending time with him and his son. I thought if I could learn to do this, I could be what he needs. Then we wouldn't be closer. We would be closer, and I just want to feel close to someone. I like death. <laughs> what? For the people here, it's either the worst or last day of their life. I like helping people get through that. Yeah, it's morbid, but it's why I need to be here. You need something else. Talk to your boyfriend, tell him what you need. Lauren nods and gets up. This isn't for her. Good luck. Thank you. Lauren gets to the door, then turns back. One more thing. What the fuck is that smell? Davy sniffs, she starts to shake her head, but stops. She knows. She's been there. If you don't mind me asking, um, are you late? Exterior, a house in the valley, day. There's a knock on the front door. After a moment, the door opens and Jeff, 40s handsome, appears. Hey, babe, what's... Lauren stands in front of him holding a pregnancy test. It indicates that she's pregnant. Jeff's mouth drops. <laughs> <laughs>